How's it going everybody? This is going to be part two of the best characters to level given the rise to the top event where we got a level 10 out of each trait up to whatever level you're going to hit during these 40 days for massive rewards and I'm going to be joined today by Heartgrave and he's going to give me his skill picks. I'm going to give him my bio picks. It's going to be a lot of fun. Little Lucas is going to make an appearance. Should be a good time. I hope you enjoy it. Before we get into that, a word from today's sponsors into the AM. All right, guys, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Into the AM. If you've been following the channel, you know I'm always rocking my Into the AM clothing, whether it be the super beautiful graphic t-shirts or the incredibly comfy and warm hooded both zip up and non zip up, or if I'm using them as decoration in my background. I love Into the AM clothing. I rock with them all the way and not just me. I have an entire drawer full of clothing and I got to keep it locked. Otherwise, my kids will get in there. So I started buying them their own t-shirts in preparation because they like to look good when they're going to bed. I don't know. These kids don't go nowhere. They just want to wear the clothing. It's that comfortable. And you're going to want to wear it too. And now is the greatest time to get in on it because they are having a 30 to 95% off sale January 23rd to the 30th and you can get an additional 10% off for using code dorky you're not gonna miss out on that let's look at some of their new products they have I think there's some beautiful beautiful options I even picked some up as presents uh, for my father-in-law I just picked him up this one right here the lakeside reflections t-shirt I absolutely love it he's got a cabin he's got a cottage he's super lucky I can't wait to visit him and maybe if I give him a beautiful comfortable t-shirt he will let me do that I've also picked up the Fireforge t-shirt, so you can expect to start seeing that in stream. And I also went ahead and picked up the Aurora Knights t-shirt for my wife. She loves the artwork. She loves the comfort. She loves nature. It's perfect. You're going to love it too. Make sure you go check out Into the AM now or before January 30th at the very latest to get an amazing deal. 30 to 95% off plus 10% off for using code DORKY. You don't want to miss it. Have a great day. And as Into the AM says, stay inspired. And as promised, I'm joined here today by Mr. Hartgrave. How you doing, Mr. Hartgrave? I'm doing horrible because I'm a Marvel Strike Force player. Sounds about right. That sounds like how I woke up this morning. Miserable. All right. So we're actually going to be doing a skill today with Mr. Hartgrave. And then for my part, I will be doing the tech section. All right. So, Mr. Hartgrave, let me pull up the skill tag here. And you're going to give me your top 10 skill picks that you're going to be leveling up during this what, race to the top event or whatever the heck they're calling it. The gold killing event, the experience killing event, the core <laughs> killing event, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, these are going to be the skill characters you're going to be leveling up to hit those juicy milestones and and hopefully get one diamond on your sunspot. So who's your number one pick? <laughs> For that juicy one diamond. I know. I know. This is so exciting, right? Yeah. Um, well, thank you for inviting me to be a part of this extravaganza that you're putting on for a video that should only take one minute. <laughs> I appreciate. I appreciate. All right, you want to know my first groundbreaking skill character? I have no, no idea. Wants, you have no idea that I'm going to level up Black Cat, right? You have yeah. no idea. Yeah, exactly. You didn't actually already have it pulled up ahead of time. <laughs> As you said, you have no idea. I was like, eh, bet. all right, there you go. <laughs> I mean, duh. Like, she, of course, Black Cat. She is one of two absolutely yeah. no-brainer picks that you have to do. It's just, look, yeah. we're talking no. Arena, War, Crucible. She's a top 10 character in all those modes for sure. Uh, turn one, stun with trauma with a super fast speed. Doesn't get better than that, right? It's crazy. Right now, I'm actually having a problem with Black Cat in the bio raid. Yeah. At that Black Cat boss. Dude, she's insane. I mean, like, at high levels, Black Cat is just the most insane character in the game. She's nuts. Yeah, it makes you wonder what uh, Red Goblin's going to have to do to come in and protect the hive mind team, right? God, I hope he's amazing. All right, you want number two? <laughs> yeah, let's do number two. Also, unthinkable, right? This is going to be a really outside of the park one here. Uh, Kestrel. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the, what else can you say about Kestrel? Why don't you tell me how you feel about Kestrel? This is the character that no one wanted, but everyone's forced to build forever. <laughs> and now we love her, right? Because she does this thing where it's like, boom, 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 explosion. And then and then you win. It's great. She is fun. Um, I wish we would have gotten Symbiote I Kestrel. That. I hope we still get that costume because that was that was probably the coolest one, quite honestly. Yeah. Um, although I can't be mad about Void Knight. He's cool, too. He looks like the Guyver, and I'm into that. Yeah, 100%. 100%. All right, so but now it gets a little more interesting. 
right? Yes. So, now we are interesting. Now we are into uncharted territory. Yeah. Now that there is one character that just connects to the last character, you already know who I'm talking about. It's Nick Fury, baby. I've been talking about Nick Fury for years. I, if I talked to any other content creator, and I said Nick Fury, they would roll my, they would roll their eyes, they would, they would spin their head. You know what I'm talking about. You know why I'm doing Nick Fury. So why don't you tell us why I'm doing Nick Fury? Uh, well, Nick Fury is a speed character that's never going to be out of the meta because he will always help your team go first. There it is. Uh, he's the he's uh, the second best skill legendary. Yep. That, that's a <laughs> out good of a whole two. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, his rework is pretty interesting, right? Because it, it, like his power is reflected in his minions, and his minions literally slap. That shield security literally slaps people into the Shadow Realm. They're nuts. I see you went to two diamond on this. I went to one diamond on mine. He's a three diamond character. Once you are able to do that to more characters, I wouldn't put him in your first line for three diamonds, but man, he should be a part of that conversation. Definitely. And, and honestly, I think a skill team is probably so far away. And the invaders, they're right on the cusp of being able to do the current raid that yeah. if the level cap does what the last level cap does, and it's a 20% stat jump, Leveling up your entire Invaders team may be on the menu. But I'm interested to know, who is your number four pick? And you might not have to level up the whole team. Nick Fury might be enough. That's what's crazy about him. Okay, now this is another one. I'm, I'm glad we're doing this here because you understand me. Yeah. You you get this. Because I my roster might be below yours, but I I my brain operates on that higher roster level. And I try to kind of emulate what bigger accounts do on my it's still a pretty damn big account but all right not beating around the chase anymore. let me i'm going to tell you the next two because they're connected okay we're going to go with gamora and moon dragon all right i like it i like it so the infinity watch team with that on spawn uh safeguard defense up immunity always a crucible nightmare award team gets you in so you're getting those resources i like it and again she's the kind of character that scales really well if the level cap does yes. the same thing 20 percent whoo where are you using Gamora at right now? What kind of counters are you using her in? Uh, this is Cosmic Crucible Defense for me. Yeah. Uh, it's to kill efficiency. They, they are the king efficiency killer. You can throw Superior 6 at them, but then you've thrown Superior 6 at them, and yeah. you're not going to use it elsewhere. So they're a great Cosmic. Very great, I'm, I'm going to say cheap, because I've already kind of sunk the cost into them. Yeah. So as long as you're there with them, the only character that I'm not going to take to level 100 out of the bunch is going to be Adam Warlock. I think everybody else is going, uh, but Mystic is just way, way too jam-packed to throw Adam Warlock in there, and he's probably not needed. Yeah, I agree. And for, and for these first two picks that you're talking about, Moon and Gamora, I think those are the two characters in the Infinity Watch team that do sack the most efficiency. So when yep. your Moon Dragon is bigger, which I guess I go over her since you're already talking about her, uh, wherever she may be. Uh, she must be big. Yeah, she's got one diamond on her, too. Uh, Moon Dragon, if she lives and she does her heal, and all of a sudden she's level 100, she has more health, it kind of rebalances your team, saps even more efficiency away. I totally get that pick. And they're not bad in war either, and they'll always kind of be a burn attack, right? Like, if, if say, yeah. there's some kind of crazy scroll team, you got to go in there and pull his ultimate, throw your Infinity Watch at it. They're going to survive, as long as it's not an apocalypse stealing away their, their on-spawn buffs. So they're always going to kind of have that life. All right, I like that. Those are your top five. Who's number six? All right, number six. Now we got to start digging deeper, right? Because yeah. things are starting to get weirder here. And, and before I get down to the real, like, the real juicy stuff, let, let's throw another easy one in here, which I feel is Craven. Craven, yeah. I, I thought that's, like, kind of another no-brainer. Uh, people might push up against uh, a bit against it because how big does this team really need to be? But I think that if you put the resources in this team, it's going to hold up for a while. It's not going to diminish as fast as other things yeah for sure and, and what we know is war teams last like a good year and a half two years on the offensive side and craven is part of the best offensive version of superior six slash sinister six so this pick makes total sense he got the ability block he does crazy damage he's gonna love those levels i couldn't agree more who we got for number seven all right now uh before i really get down to the bottom let's <sighs> I, this and this might be weird for this might be just a mr hargrave thing i don't know but uh it's another two uh, Nakia and Akoi. I keep up with my war dogs. I couldn't agree more. I love these yeah. guys. Super strong, yeah. very fast. In war, they just popped up as a new secret defender apocalypse counter, which is bonkers that that's a thing. Uh, that's crazy. And in Crucible, they're always like one developer deciding, you know what? I'm going to buff Wakanda <laughs> for this season. They're always just that one split decision away. 
Uh, Nakia, heart and soul of the team in War. Okoye, kind of the heart and soul of the team in Crucible. I love those picks. And because Skill is kind of, you know, there's not a lot of great characters are pulling from Skill. Yeah, so I get that. All right. That was seven and eight. Now we're getting to the drag. So who's your number eight? All right. Well, it's another, it's another two. Um, and that is Ronin and Mockingbird. Um, I just figured that's that's really it. I mean, it's really a lack of of other options as well. Things that I have built up. Yeah. Um, I don't need them. This is really frivolous. Uh, there's no point to this. And in fact, when I'm doing this event, like let's say I get to level 98, these will stay at level 98. They yeah. will not go to level 100. <laughs> They're just the it's the best of what I can make. You know, like I'd be interested to hear your list because then. Um, I might swap these two out for something else if it makes sense. But um, right now, this is what makes sense to me. Ronan, at the very least, is going to make my Oh, list. God. Oh, God. I, for, I should. We should have said this up at the top because this is like the, the crucial information. Now, I don't know if we're going to get 40 days. But if we literally get any new skill characters in the next 40 days, these two drop off. Those two go on. Fair enough. Fair enough. So. Probably. And, and yeah, so the new characters coming out during this 40 day period is going to be very interesting. Like Red Goblin makes my bio list just because I know I'm going to have to build him up anyway. Ray exactly. team, he seems like he's going to have to be really good to make that team work on the boss mode. So I'm interested to see what he brings. But for me, I actually do like Ronan Mockingbird. Ronan makes my list at the very least because he's part of the damage. And during this event, during this like gold crunch slash squeeze they're pulling from us, I want to build up as many full teams as possible. If I have to build up a war team, if I have to build up a crucible team, I almost want to build up the whole team. So I'm getting that whole benefit as opposed to spreading resources. Let's say you only did a Koye and you didn't do like Black Panther 1 million. Then that team is just, it's a little bit better, but it's not at that now plateau where the whole team is where it needs to be to function against like an appropriate punch up against Infinity Watch or something like that, right? So I really, really like that. Did, are we at nine now? Do you just have one more character that you need? No, to that bring? that was all ten. That one was all ten. ten. We, you, I, I snuck a lot of two for ones on you there. You're so really they're kind of connected, you know. You're really gonna snub this guy? He's gonna come after you. You know that. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll take the risk. Okay, he's washed up. He's tired. His videos never performed on my channel. I'm not worried about it. Fair enough. He was terrifying in, when I saw him in LA, though. Until uh, the Hulk got a hold of him. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, there for that. I have no idea what you're speaking of. <laughs> All right. Let me jump over it, and I'm going to give you my bio picks now. Now, the reason I want to do bio with Mr. Hargrave is because I think. I think he might get mad at me for some of these picks. I think. Well, that's good. That's I think good. Some, well, some of them. Yeah. Some of them I think he's going to be like, yeah, of course, of course. And number one of the of course, of course, is Skrull. I mean, what what are that we going to say? What are you doing, yeah. Yeah. Best character in the game was designed by a child who had a god complex, god complex giving him speed bar on every single buff or debuff that gets thrown around. Damage that one-shots people. Uh... <laughs> regen of his light like it's this character this is, is dumb this is the number one character to, to take to level 100 if you take no other character to level 100 you take that character to level exactly next i got <laughs> zuggernaut zuggernaut even if you don't have a stupid amount of stars like i have on him uh if he just survives to the point where all of a sudden gregs are dying he's getting his charges and he's reviving up he's spreading bleeds he gets damage based on the amount of charges he has so all of a sudden he's one-shotting apocalypses at a three-star character like it's crazy what this character can do right i don't know i'm not a fan of zombie juggernaut really? which is hard for me to say because i'm such a fan of zombies in general wow uh, i'm just not using them i don't i, I mean i use them in war but he does what he needs to do at the level that he's at. I see no reason to build him bigger. Um, I assume you're doing zombie Iron Man as well. That's another one that I'm probably not going to do because it's just doing what I wish these guys had better utility in Crucible. If they had better utility in Crucible, I would be too to them, but I just have not. I've tried and tried for season after season to make them fit into my plan, but they just they just end up falling. Actually, Zombie Iron Man is not going to be on my list, but uh, there's a lot of cool synergy with the next character I have on my list, and that's going to be Void Knight. So an interesting thing that yeah. the Undying team does is when we pair them with Symbiotes, there's so much bleeds that come out. Zombie Juggernaut spreads those bleeds, and then Venom spreads them on top of that. And Void Knight 
pulls everybody together. So the bleeds hit an entire team. So I've had a lot of success doing that. One of the reasons Zuggernaut makes my team. Also, we're playing with different Zuggernauts, clearly, right? With my seven red star. So maybe I'm a little skewed, but I, I have heard people singing his praises too. But this guy, yo, this guy is Nightcrawler Light. He's not Nightcrawler, but he is really, really damn good. And when he pulls people and does an ability block, crazy, crazy efficiency on that. Really, really enjoy that character for sure. Um, and he had to make yeah, my list. He's my favorite plug and play. Uh, he's the one that's going to get the most use for me in Crucible. And I like that combination of, zo of Zombie Juggernaut and Void Knight. I hadn't thought about that. Uh, still probably not good enough to fit into my offense or defense plan, but uh, you never know. Yeah. All right, I got to take a break for a second. All right, and my fourth character, uh, sorry, we had to do a little edit because this guy started knocking on my door, is going to be the one, the only Red Hulk. I love him in War still. Uh, I think he's going to have plug and play use with Red Hulk before you know, or sorry, with Apocalypse before you know it, given that speed yep. bar. And in Crucible, they kind of throw them on defense. Sometimes you can find a way to use him on offense for his Jeremy to rewind. How are you feeling about Red Hulk now? Yeah, no, I love Red Hulk. Uh, absolutely not going anywhere in the meta of this game. Uh, that turn rewind is huge. And yeah, it pair him with Apocalypse. Um, I'm always finding a place to plug in Red Hulk. It's an easy plug and play for me. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. All right, now it starts getting, in my opinion, it starts getting a little weird because there are a lot of great bio characters. But I got into a fight in my Twitch chat when I told them who my picks were. My fifth pick, and I will not budge on this, is Nova. <laughs> Yeah I, I figured, I about it. yeah, I figured you might disagree with this one. So, he's got a turn one stun. Uh, yeah. He's going to hit that legendary section in DD7 anyway. And as a plug-and-play in Crucible, great. And he carries his war team, right? I know a lot of people just built him and not even his war team. Because I, they're so slow, they kind of suck. The only thing that they do is they give him speed bar on spawn. That's what Nowhere team is good for. Yeah. Yeah, no, I got a couple of characters on my list. I could definitely replace... Uh, one of them with Nova, and when you brought up Dark Dimension Seven, that uh, that is a, that is an issue. You know, we are going to need some characters for that, and Nova is a good one. Uh, I, I have a harder time plugging him into my strategies for Cosmic Crucible, but I've definitely done it. It does work out. Yeah. All right, number six for me. I'll, you you said Craven. I actually also have a Lizard on my list. Uh, yeah. First of all, I always. I never look at him. I just pretend that he looks like the Spider animated series, and so I love him. Right, uh, right. That would definitely help. If you don't look at him, he gets better. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but but just like you said for Craven, new character, war team, gonna last a long time. Crucible, like they just came up for Crucible, so they probably have at least a year before they're out. So I think he's gonna be a great pick. Uh, I don't think that's too controversial. Now, oops, back to too far. Now I think it's gonna get a little weird for some people. And I've been singing this guy's praises ever since the Kyle Tower, and I will never look back. First of all, I got to take yeah. this off of him. This is awful. This yeah, that, that's horrible. Uh, one note about Lizard, though, is that a lot of people, including me, will drop him off for Vulture on that team if you're mm -hmm. using them offensively. So, God, he's kind of like first to go in a lot of circumstances. He is, but, but I think that's also a function a of, of what the Crucible rooms have been doing. Uh, exactly. But, so, what's the next thing yeah. If your targets are villains, then then lizards typically a little better than vulture. Yeah. Uh, all right. Next on my list, number six or seven, I got Venom, the original yeah. symbiote. What a lot of people don't know when they're talking about um, spreading bleeds is the character that spreads the bleeds, they become that character's bleeds. So when Venom yeah. spreads Carnage's bleeds, he's no longer spreading the damage from Carnage. He's spreading his own damage. So the higher he is, the more that's going to help you in your raid adventures. He has so much speed stuff now on his basic, giving 20%. That's why I love him as a striker. And on his uh, passive, he's got that new surfer thing where he's gaining speed yeah. every single turn. It's super mm -hmm. cool. Um, I love Venom. And uh, I think we're going to have a lot of use for him outside of raids. Is something I, I might have been hinted at by somebody in the know. Uh, so curious to see what you think about this character. Because a lot of people think you're going to sub Venom off in the raid team. It's like, no. No. No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> you think you are, but you're not. Yeah, exactly. Too, I too mean, good. yeah, as good as Super Scroll is, I mean, the full team is going to be, he's not going to get turned. That's going to be the problem. Yeah. I mean, which is crazy to say about Super Scroll, and, and maybe he will. I mean, who knows? He is pretty nuts. But I think the full team is going to be viable. I think if you have the full team, you're going to be better off. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see how it pans out. My early test, no 
of my tests uh, as yours on the test server with Hivemind are without Red Goblin. So know. I yeah. really cannot weigh in on this team until I think it was absolutely stupid to have them test that team, have us test that team without the fifth member. Like, yeah. it, it leaves a really bad impression of that team, what it's going to be able to do inside and outside of raids. Yeah, well, I mean, when you get to the boss, though, do you get instantly killed? It's like, okay, so this team is exactly yeah. what Rebirth already does. So, yeah. What's yeah. The point? Uh, but, but like you yeah. said, with the Carnage passive in the raids, Scroll never gets yeah. turned. Even with the four Hive Mind, he got maybe one That's or two awesome. turns per node, and that was it. Crazy. Crazy. So, yeah, yeah, Hive Mind is, is nuts with the turn meter. And we're, it's going it's gonna to be as dominant. I, I think a good way to think about Hive Mind is it should be as dominant outside of raids as symbiotes was for so many things mm -hmm. like whenever you could pull off uh like a hella kind of killing minions combo uh symbiotes was the only team to use for scourges for a lot of a lot of spots yeah we could see hive mind have that new that new niche place yeah. that's a very interesting take all right my next character i think you're gonna disagree with this one okay tigra yeah no tigra is so good like i can't I like i don't know if i'm doing it but, and there's definitely a case for it if I'm doing, uh, you know, Ronin and uh, Mockingbird, mm -hmm. then Tigra is definitely a consideration. She's the strongest one on the team. She's insane on her own. I use her on the um, the bio note uh, for the boss and whatnot because really? of her survivability. Nice. Uh, Very interesting. Uh, yeah, you're right. Her damage, her bleeds, if she reaches her ultimate, she shreds teams apart. Uh, yep. And like I said earlier, when you were telling me about your new Avenger picks, I like the idea if during this journey, if I'm building up a whole team, it becomes like a stopgap in war on defense, or I can crush things yeah. in war on offense. Same with Crucible, New Avengers. I mean, they're not the best yeah. in the world, but they they get the job done for sure. What I like about New Avengers on Crucible defense is that people have no idea what to do with them. Yeah, not really use that commonly. And if they are gigantic, you can't just blow them up with Icarus. Like you would think, oh, I could just blow them up with Icarus. No, you can't. They actually don't blow up, uh, which is very upsetting. Yeah, or sometimes Coulson will straight up kill your Icarus on his opening turn. You're like, huh? yeah, 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 bit of a problem. Bit of a problem. They they can definitely uh, throw a lot of a lot of uh, wrenches and cogs. Yeah, my number nine pick. This one I have a hard time with, but for her use in yeah. war, I kind of because we don't use her with secret yeah. defenders basically at all. Because even on the secret defender scroll team, we want to have two villains in there, so she gets sat right. You can't sit Robbie Reyes. You can't sit Hard Light or Black Cat. He's trying to hit the keyboard. Uh, so if Photon gets in there, her use in war is really good. 128 speed, I could see her kind of being a plug-and-play character at some point with those blinds. How do you feel about Photon? I don't like her. I feel lied to. I, I'm annoyed that I built her to the level that I built her at. She's, <laughs> she's on my list, too, to level 100. But, like, maybe I should drop her for Nova, right? Like, I don't I don't really... I don't love Photon. I, I don't like that they made her so disposable. I know they tried to save that by giving her the A first thing. Yeah. I don't think it's enough. Ah, I agree. I don't know. I don't know. I'm annoyed, but I have sunk cost fallacy, so maybe I'll do it as well. There you go. And my number 10th pick, uh, he's not in the game yet. It's Red Goblin. Yeah. Red Goblin all the way. Yeah. Um, 100%. The best characters in Marvel Strike Force have not been released yet, so the characters that they drop over the next 40 days, they would all get priority for me, I think, in case, unless it was something really crazy and out there. I think the next, uh, whatever characters they drop in the next 40. And I'm not going to level, like, all at once. Like, there's yeah. no reason to start on these characters. Like, start with the characters that you know, hands down, you're going to want to take to 100, like Super Scroll and Black Cat. And then when you get down to these photons... Yeah. And, uh, and Infinity Watch. Maybe wait and see what happens. I couldn't agree more. All right, guys, that's it for my list on Bio Mr. Hargrave's list on skill. Head on over to his channel. We're going to be tackling two different traits again. Lots of fun. Check in the description for a link to that and in a pinned comment that'll be there too. Have yourselves a wonderful day. And as always, let us know what you think about our list down below. And if you disagree, doesn't matter because it'll feed the algorithm. And I'm just going to laugh at you. I'm going to laugh so hard. Have yourselves a good day, everybody. And bye for now. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.